Hello, welcome to the Frugal Amps sound demo room for another exciting review of a recently finished amp. This particular amp is uh, based on a Marshall platform uh, and it incorporates an awful lot of the various mods that are out there for this particular circuit. This amplifier um, it's a 50 watt amp uh, two EL 34 power tubes three three preamp tubes it um, it has um, several additional um, modifications it has some clipping uh, um, switches that are in there to uh, to add more uh, uh, distortion to the sound it has uh, a couple of uh, preamp gain controls with their own with their own brightness controls uh, it has the it has a, uh, a master volume as well it has the classic tone st tone stack uh, treble mid and bass presence and it has a resonance control and um, I hope I can do it justice it's uh, it's really really loud 50 watts and uh, it has an awful lot of gain and I'm not a high gain player so uh, uh, I'm a little out of my element but I'll I'll let you see what it sounds like it's being played through a a 1 by 12 uh, bottom which is what I always demo my amps through and um, it like a lot of the other uh, amps that I uh, demo is uh, for sale so uh, Without any further ado, here we go. I'm going to play this amp through my through my uh, Paul Reed Smith. <laughs> Right now I'm playing this with the uh, with the two gain controls up. The master is only at a quarter. Uh, I can't uh, I can't take much more volume of that with both with the um, the size of the room and the uh, the poor uh, the poor camera will uh, just uh, just not uh, reproduce that kind of sound very well. Um, everything else is pretty much straight up. Um, I'm awful close to this amplifier, so it will uh, it will kind of feedback, but I can't run the controls and uh, demo the amp at the same time. It, it has a pretty uh, it has a pretty classic Marshall hot rodded Marshall sound. If you boost the master up, turn the gains down, boost the master up. of a clean sound out of it but that's not why guys buy these amps let's face it also the brightness control uh, you can see that that kicks in a lot more overdrive you can really tailor the amount of in the volume with these uh, with these controls
also has uh, some built-in clipping. I'm not a big fan of clipping myself. Um, clip this amp, you really have to compensate with additional volume. Personally, uh, I don't care for it. I, I put it in there because it's kind of one of the standard uh, mods that guys do. Uh, I don't see the difference between that and putting a, a, a fuzz pedal or a distortion pedal of some kind in front of your amp. But uh, hey, that's me. You know, I I prefer some things uh, a little less gainy. But the good thing about the amp is you can play it just like a normal Marshall. 50-watt uh, plexi circuit, and uh, it, it, it acts just uh, just like it. The nice thing about the resonance controls, it dials in a lot more bottom end. but it, it's sort of like a presence for just the bass part of the uh, of the tone circuit so uh, it adds a lot to the presence the presence tends to accentuate or decentuate the high end so it's kind of a nice way to tailor it to your uh, to your speaker sound or to your uh, to the any particular tone you're looking for so I find it's a pretty versatile uh, it's a pretty versatile amp it has like I said a lot of a lot of switching options a lot of um, tone shaping options options which some of which are uh, I think are uh, are there uh, and and useful other ones uh, to me they're a little superfluous but uh, they're kind of they're kind of uh, what's expected in when in a lot of these uh, these style circuits. So I hope you enjoyed it. I wish uh, I could play it a little bit better for you, but hey, I build them. I don't necessarily play them that well. So, but uh, for thanks for watching.